for you for reassurance. Look, I'm trying to get Jacob's attention. He just wants a little reassurance. All right, you guys, this is Gabriel. So Gabriel is also a forecoming five-year-old and he is also a Spanish bred horse. This horse right here is by an Andalusian stallion and he is out of a draft paint mare. So he is one half Andalusian. Jacob will walk him around, load him, unload him, pick his feet up for you guys. This horse was very similar to Brody. He came in here super green. He's also had his feet trimmed, not this past week, but the week before. Um, and the farrier didn't have to do anything crazy. He didn't have to sedate him. I'll hold him. Yeah, he's just looking for some reassurance. It's okay. So he had his feet trimmed all the way around. And um, he's got a little spot on this foot that he's going to have to work on. This horse's feet were kind of flared out, but he had not really been trimmed. And so we just look at him. Do you guys love how much reassurance this horse? What I will tell you guys about the horses that we have had here that we've been doing a lot of groundwork with and that we've really started to bond with. If you watch these two gildings that have been here, they are craving reassurance from Jacob that they've done it correctly. Like if you guys notice, watch him, he'll reach out, make sure that he's done it correctly. Like I love that these horses are in a mental and spiritual state that they are so ready to bond with somebody. Watch this horse. He doing it correctly. This horse has been a champion on the ground. He's a champion under saddle. I would venture to say this horse could be youth suitable very, very easily. He, under saddle, he is probably one of the kindest, most gentle horses. He just really craves a bond and he craves attention and he's just really good. When we got him, he wouldn't load on and off the trailer. You had to run him in. Now you can um, load him. He will walk off or you can um, back him off. He was... He was just, you know, I mean, it's like he had just been running trailers. He had never been led on. So you can load these horses by themselves. They don't paw. They don't kick. They can go in by themselves. If you do decide, look at him licking his lips. I would tie his tail first. This horse's tail touches the ground and um, it needed to be bagged, but he got a bath. So they took it out to scrub his tail. It needs to go back in a bag, but we're going to. This horse will lead off the trailer straight um, without rushing you, or you can back him off, no problem. And obviously my goats are so annoying, but they're so funny, we don't care. Jacob is still so furious that I bought. Jacob was so mad that I got goats because he knew where they came from and he knew that we were gonna have some issues. So Jacob will lead this horse off forward. For those of you that wanna see, he's not gonna run you over, watch him pay attention. He just looked for Jacob for reassurance to make sure he didn't crowd Jacob. And he's got so much manners on the ground, you guys. If you're older and you need a horse that's not going to run over the top of you, this is a really nice horse because he's really trying to pay attention and know exactly where you are. I love that we've got him backing off the trailer and watching he'll find a step. Good job, buddy. Jacob can walk him over here and he'll tie him on the walker and watch, he'll just look for Jacob for reassurance. I love it. Look, see him poke his head out there and lick his lips. Whoa, buddy. He thought Jacob was asking him to yield his hindquarters. Did you see that instant? Jacob went for the hip and instant yield I love that. Just paying attention, really trying to do correctly. This horse hard ties really well. He saddles good. His demeanor is fantastic. And just watch him watch as Jacob moves to lick his lips and just really, this horse really craves a connection. And he's a lot like Brody in the sense that these Spanish bred horses very much so pay attention to where your feet are and what you're doing. And they just are a more highly intelligent animal to me. I think that Spanish bred horses, Aztecas, Andalusians, they just have a different way. Um, they just crave a bond. Yeah, the goats, they do. So the goats run from the dogs and they hide behind the horses to hide from the, they're like getting away from the dogs, so they hide. But this horse does hard tie. Um, he's been tied out here a little bit so that he could just, and you'll watch him, he'll step up there and look at him, he's like, I see myself in the trailer. But 
this is something that was new to him when he got here. He's had a little bit of time at the tree. He'll tie to the trailers now. Um, just a really good horse, you guys. Really, really unproblematic. Picks up all four feet, loads. And let me tell you, under saddle, this horse would be very easily a youth suitable horse because he's just broke really good. And listen, he's so gentle and he's so kind. And this horse is desperate for a connection. And I'm going to tell you, he's a paint. So his mother was a draft paint. And you can see this horse has a lot of extra, lot of lot, well, a lot of foot and a lot of extra hair. But these spots are not dirt. He's okay. like a roan. I know he loves this. Watch him, watch him, you guys. So I'm gonna do the scratchy, scratchy. He gets. Yeah, he's like, yes, that's nice. That's nice. That's so nice. He's gonna try to get Jacob. He's like, come here, buddy. Let me. He said, she's scratching me, and I scratch you. She's scratching me, and I scratch you. Look at him, Jackie. He's like, she scratches me. Come back, Jacob. Let me scratch you. Oh. Oh man. And these two um, gray gildings are just in such a good place for somebody to take on from here. They're mentally ready for a bond. They're spiritually just really ready. I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with these two horses. They're completely sound in every way. They plow 4,000 acres a piece. They are for sale this week only. And look at this horse. I'm telling you, if you're needing a young dressage, huh? 100% quarantined. 100% quarantined. Um, teeth floated. Both Brody and this horse have had two worming vaccinations. All he needs is a new mama. He does. But listen, they're fully vaccinated, seven way vaccines. They have been um, quarantined for over 30 days. They have had numerous trips under saddle. They, all the groundwork is complete. And listen, teeth floated, two wormed, vaccinated, sheath cleaned this horse and Brody completely so there's nothing to do i mean all you'd have to do is pull you a travel pack and go fully quarantined 100 percent sound both of these horses have never taken a lame step leg wise and honestly they're fantastic horses for four thousand dollars you cannot go purchase a prospect that's 100 percent sound that's half andalusian in this market and the reason i got these horses is they were just stupid green and now we've put in we've We've honestly had both of them 60. We've had Brody 45 days minimum, and this horse has been here 60. I'll go back and look at my dates, huh? You think so? Yeah, he comes same time Sergio That's right. I've had that horse a while. God, it feels like yesterday. But, I mean, they've been here, and they're doing fantastic, you guys. So, that was Brody, and this one right here is Gabriel. They're both four coming five-year-old, technically in the next month or two they'll be five years old um and just fantastic examples of spanish bred horses